Hey, uh, here we go. I'm going to start uh, trying to go through some problems. Uh, I thought I'd choose number 14. It's a type 2, uh, mainly because they're mixing in several comments or concepts together. Uh, first, I've got this 5 mega electron volts. What? What's a mega electron volt and how does that have anything to do with kinetic energy? Um, they noted that it's a proton that matters and it enter, enters a uh, 0.2 Tesla field in a plane perpendicular to the field. So what's its radius of its path? Okay. Now, um, basically, let's see if I can get the information up here. Uh, and I need to turn around a little bit. Maybe I'll pull back. Weird setup. So, uh, here's my cute puppy. She will not leave my side uh, after two weeks of being in a, at a dog board <laughs> location. She will not let me leave. I can't even go to the bathroom without her following me. Thanks, and we're back. This is what we do. Distract. Uh, I'm going to start over just because of that. <laughs> but hopefully more is better. Okay. Uh, let's start here. Uh, so we had a problem. We've got 5 mega electron volts. It's associated with kinetic energy. I used Ke just to get it phonetically or uh, relatively close. Um, but I'm going to need some help. Okay. Um, first of all, uh, if I look at this, I'm kind of like, help me, uh, as far as what is a mega electron volt, and if it's an energy, it's going to have to deal with joules. Um, so things that come to mind, okay, are uh, kinetic energy, right, equals one-half mv squared. So they're going to give me enough information to find out how many joules that I've got. I can get this from the proton mass, and then uh, I'm going to solve for my V, uh, because I'm trying to find my radius. So one, I've got this kinetic energy going with it, and the two, I need my radius, um, the force, right, that this proton experiences, what is that? It has to do with the charge has to do with the speed and the field strength. So I also need the charge of the proton. Okay. Uh, and part A, I guess, when I solve that, is going to find that speed, and we already have that given. Uh, so where am I going to get these resources? Oh, and also, we want to find radius. Well, this is our centripetal force. As it comes in, it's either going to take a left-hand turn or right-hand turn. They didn't designate if it was into or out of the field, just that they were perpendicular, and that doesn't matter. It's either going to have a radius this way or radius that way. So this centripetal force is mv squared over r. Okay, what's our mass? Mass of the proton. Right? Speed of the proton. And then I can find a radius. So I, I kind of want to just um, solve it and get everything mixed around. If I have my radius, right, it's going to be mv squared divided by q and b. And so we'll go through and find each one of those parts. Uh, mass of the proton. Um, let me show you a sheet that's going to help us with this mag electron volts. Uh, it's going to help us with math proton, charge of the proton. All right, so Q positive, mass positive. And this is why this is going to be challenging. It's because, let's be honest, I don't have enough space. I need my big whiteboard. So here's what's going to help you. Okay. I posted the AP Physics 2 equation sheet because it's got everything all in one spot. Okay. 
um, proton mass right here, right? Uh, I've got neutron and also electron mass, but I need proton mass. What else did we need? Um, electron volt. It's 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Okay. Uh, what else did we need? So, oh, mega. Mega is 10 times or 10 to the 10 to the positive six. Okay. So, um, first of all, let's get our charges. Proton mass 1.67. 10 to the negative 27. 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms. And then what was it? We want to charge electron charge magnitude, but the charge uh, magnitude's also for an electron, it's the same as a proton. So that's equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. Uh, and that's coulombs. Let's double check that. Yep, got that. Uh, what else did we need? We've got V. We need um, V. So I need that five mega electron volts. I do not know what happened. So let's see what's popping up here. Okay. So with that, right, I've got this given information and we might have to go through our work a little bit more. I might have to clean that off. I'm gonna do a quick, something like that. So maybe I can work with that later. Uh, so I'm uh, gonna have to work through that process of finding velocity uh, and then, uh, can insert that into our final equation. So let me pause this. I can't pause unless I am. Hey, let's just get the five me mega electron volts uh, as far as our joules, okay? And we'll get that on the sheet. Uh, as far as kinetic energy equals five times ten to the sixth times what's an electron volt? One electron volt is basically one point six times ten to the negative nineteen joules. Okay. Uh, and so now we've got everything. We can do some intermediate calculations. Um, I'm going to hope that gets you started. I know that's a little bit messy, uh, but uh, should get you started. I'm going to get that screen again. And we will go for there. I'm going to, I'm going to let you uh, work through that, and I'm going to have a solution one to follow.